Question number 25 says we should factorize this quadratic expression. Just form your two factors. This time around, you don't have to set them to be equal to zero because we are not solving. We are only factorizing. Right y here and right y here. We are going to think of two numbers, which when we multiply them together, we are going to get this constant, which is minus seven. And when added up together, we get the coefficient of the middle term, which is negative six. I know definitely minus seven multiplied by one will give us minus seven. And minus seven plus one will give us minus six. Therefore, the right combination is minus seven and one. So just write minus seven here and write plus one here and you are good to go. And I can see here it is the option B. Let us move on to question number 26.